Hey guys, so I'm back. Alright, I'm back. And today I'm gonna do a very juicy QA. Um, I'm only saying juicy because that's what I posted for y'all to ask me questions. I actually don't even know what questions I'm gonna answer. Um, like I always do, I just put it on my Insta story. So yeah, I said filming a juicy QA later ask me anything so I'm gonna just pick and choose a few questions and just jump right into this you guys are very nosy and want to know a lot of things so I'm gonna address what I feel like was asked the most and you know just what's necessary so and I'm gonna kind of pick ones that are a little juicy not just like boring like what's your favorite color because I've already done a basic Q&A like that to get to know me so this one is just gonna be you know to catch up on things so someone said, let's just let's just get this out of the way. Did you actually have a boyfriend? So a lot of you guys seem to think that I created some facade to say I have a boyfriend, which I'm sorry, but why would I have to do that? I don't have to prove this to anyone, prove that I'm in a relationship or single to anyone. Um, I guess a lot of people were saying in my comments and whatever that they thought I was just trying to say that to cover up like something with me and DDG or to have them stop asking about us. But y'all really don't even know the half of it. I'm not even going to get into that part. But trust me, me and him are strictly friends. Like, strictly siblings, work together, like all of that. That would not be the reason if if that was the case. Um, Yeah, I did have a boyfriend. It was a short relationship. That's really it, y'all. Um, We were dating before YouTube and we broke up. Um, I don't even remember when, maybe last month. Yeah, and it was my decision because I just felt like there were certain things in the relationship that, not that I wasn't okay with, but I just felt like I wasn't maybe ready to commit to this person. Um, and I'm, I'm not selfish. Like, if I feel like I want to leave a relationship or talk to someone else, I'm going to end the relationship because I would never want someone to do that to me or cheat on me. Like, I'm not a cheater. So... That's all I'm really going to say, but um, I just wasn't ready to commit to that person fully. And you know, like there was other things, of course. But I'm not going to go into personal details. You wouldn't understand, obviously, unless you're in the actual relationship. But that is it. I didn't make that up. If you want to believe that, continue to believe that. But that was just to answer the question, if I really had a boyfriend. So, how many exes do you have? Um, I would probably say just two. Like, I've only really had one official boyfriend in my life before the last one, like, as, not as a kid, but when I was younger. Um, and then, I guess that would count this last relationship, it was just very short. And I just want to say, in this kind of generation, it's hard to even be like, boyfriend, are y'all talking, like, what, messing around, like, what's the situation? But no, like, I would I call anything a boyfriend that we officially, like, agreed upon, you're my boyfriend. Because... If it was up to me, and I'm sure a lot of girls can relate, if I'm spending time with you every day, I'm only having sex with you, and whatever, like, you're my boyfriend. Like, what? You have me so effed up. You are my boyfriend. But, um, no, nah, in this case, he actually, like, asked me to be his girlfriend, so. I would consider that an ex, right? What's your favorite position oh this is very juicy um for me personally probably doggy style from the back just just if i'm trying to show out you know how do you live the lifestyle you live at a young age um i don't know what kind of lifestyle you think i live but i just be living just living my life living in the moment i do what i want for me that is it. Um, as far as having to do with age, I live in LA. Oh my god, my dog. What are you doing? Um, but I live in LA. I live on my own. I have my own place, pay my own bills. I feel like that just automatically kind of makes you grow up faster no matter what age you are. So I think I was just put into, you know, put into an adult life kind of fast. 
was around a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have been around if I hadn't moved here. Um, so I learned a lot, I became wiser, and yeah. Did you ever think you were going to reach this amount of fame? I don't even consider myself to be like famous. I feel like I'm, maybe I could say I'm popular, you know? But fame to me is like Beyonce level. I don't know. Or all countries know who you are. To me, that's like you're famous, you know? But I mean, everyone, some people might be famous to me. That's not famous to you, vice versa. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I've reached an amount of fame to where I'm like, um, I'm on social media and on social platforms. And I put myself out there, so I'm not really surprised. Oh, some of these are a little much. Okay. Are you and YB and Almighty J going to be together? No, we're not. He's a cool dude. Like, no disrespect to him. He's very sweet, actually. He brought me a birthday gift. Um, He just popped in, like, really quick. That's why I didn't even, like, vlog it or anything. He's a really nice guy. Like, super sweet. Um, But... I just, as far as us being together, that's not the vibe, or that's not where my head is at when I look at him. But I feel like we could be friends for a while. Um, we've been meaning to link again in film videos, but like I say in everything, there's just been a lot going on. I'm the hardest person, and I will admit it, and anyone watching this that's tried to make plans with me or film with me can probably vouch for this. I'm such a difficult person to make plans with you guys, unless I'm like, unless you're like my close friend, so it's like we could just pop in each other's spots whenever but and it's not intentional and I'd be feeling so bad but I just am a, I'm the biggest procrastinator ever and I just always have a lot to do I'm always stressed out I'm always overthinking things so I'm just so hard to make plans with oh this is kind of a juicy one would you do YouTube if you didn't get paid so um I think I would for sure I probably would just post like like, okay, before I even got signed with Zudin, I had a YouTube channel and I posted maybe like once a month, once every couple months because I wasn't doing it for the money. I was monetized as well way before DDG. He actually didn't get me monetized. I was already monetized on my own, but I just was not posting enough to be getting like legit income from YouTube. Um, so I would be posting still just for fun and just because people ask like have requests on how do you do this like your everyday makeup stuff like that I'd be doing stuff like that but I will say like getting paid from it definitely motivates you because it's become a job like it's another source of my my income so you know I have to consistently be doing it um but I would just not not a lot like I would have how I used to post, which was at once every month, once every couple months. What zodiac sign are you mostly attracted to? Honestly, I'm very into zodiac signs, but there's not one I could say I'm specifically attracted to. I think that cancers, I vibe well with cancers, and I have a lot of cancers in my life, men and women. Um, they're very emotional though, and kind of crazy, but for some reason, I'm like drawn to them. Um, but attracted to... I'm not sure maybe Pisces but I don't know I can only go off like two Pisces men in my life so I'll come back to that one day <laughs> you ever gave head what do you think I'm gonna just leave that to your imagination Ooh, have you ever considered getting larger breasts? Um, I made an entire video on this. I for sure considered it, and I'm not against it. I may one day. I just don't know. It's just whatever I'm feeling at that moment in time. As far as right now, I don't have intentions on getting one, but I've definitely considered it. And maybe some months ago, I was even, the, even like looking more into it, like doctors, prices, but I'm just satisfied with myself right now. So, do you like getting your toes sucked or sucking toes? Um, I don't mind getting my toes sucked. Hey, if, you, if you're going to do it, I'm not going to stop you. But it's not a fetish of mine, and I definitely do not suck toes. What's your bra size? The smallest bra size that exists, probably. 32A. I don't wear bras. I don't wear bras. Why do you lie to your subscribers about you not smoking weed? It's obvious. Y'all, I swear on my mother, no, not even my mother, on my great-grandmother's grave, 
I hate to say that, but she's like, I don't have that many people that have passed away in my family. Thank God. Anyways, why would I have to lie about that? We're in 2020, okay? We're at, we're, we're in 2020. I, I would not be tripping if I smoked weed. I would tell y'all I smoke weed. It's not that deep to me personally. Maybe to y'all it's deep, but it's just not something for me to lie about. Um, I don't. I don't smoke weed on a regular basis. Every now and then if I'm with people that do, like my best friend is a freaking pothead. VDG's low-key a pothead. Like a lot of people that I'm around, they smoke heavily. So I'm, honestly, all of my friends, every single one of my friends are smokers, except for maybe one. Um, yeah, it's just, I just don't. If I feel like it and I'm with my friend or someone that does, I might take a few hits, but I don't ever get high. I don't ever, like, inhale it the right way to where I'm, like, how I was in that video. Like, that's just not a regular thing for me. Um, my eyes are chinky. If you look on my page, I posted baby pictures. My eyes are literally, they've been the same since I was little. I don't know what y'all want me to do. I really just... The only reason I'm getting a little irritated is because y'all say this under every video. Like, oh, she for sure is high. She for sure smokes. And I'm not. The video that I said I was high on was the only video I was high on. And that's that on that. Period. How freaky are you? It depends on the guy. And that is, yeah, that's very, very much true. Like, it just depends on the guy. Do you deserve my full freakiness? Was you in Jamaica with Gunna? What's going on with you and Gunna? Did you date Gunna? Were you in that video with Gunna? Alright, so I'm just going to finally adjust this. Because honestly, it's not worth it to me to give my full energy to. Um, Basically, at a point in time, yes, we were talking. We hung out. We were kicking it. I mean, to me, I'm a girl. We were dating. But obviously, y'all guys seem to think very differently. A girl could give you their all do this this whatever be all for you and it's still not your girlfriend so i would not say like that was my boyfriend but we were heavily talking for some months um so like dating yeah we were dating i spent a lot of time with him he was the only guy that i was seeing at the time so jamaica was towards the end of when we pretty much stopped talking that was the reason so he had told me ahead of time he had plans to go to jamaica to finish his album which he just dropped whatever so i already knew he, he had been out there for some time like maybe over two weeks already so i was in la getting my stuff done you know we would still talk every day whatever there was some drama in between which i'm not going to go into but but when you like someone you believe things that they say i was a little bit naive it is what it is i'm 21 i was younger even then so it's like I'm not, nothing i'm ashamed of but things happened there was a lot of lies I was tired of the lies, whatever. So I told him like, oh, he had told me obviously like you can come to Jamaica whenever I'm gonna be out there for my album. I was like, can I bring a friend with me? Because I'm he's going out there for his album. So I already knew he was gonna be busy. And I was like, I would like to bring a friend, you know, so I have someone to hang out with, take pictures of me, whatever. So he's like, cool. So my friend Yasmin came. That was the girl that was in that clip with me, which I'm gonna get to that. Um, So we get out there. It's pretty chill. It was like a house and there was another side of the house where some other girls were. But you know, he's a rapper. He has an entourage. He had other friends there, his manager, like a lot of people were there. So it was just a big house, but two separate kind of sides, um, like villas, I guess you could say. So a lot of girls came specifically to shoot a video. Well, I guess a few. I don't really know how many videos he did out there. I know he was there just to get his work done. So, and make music, so he, or his friends, whatever, they had other girls come. I don't know if they paid them, or I'm assuming they paid them or signed contracts, something. They were specifically there for a video, is what I was told. So, was told. I really don't know, you know, but whatever. Yeah, so, anyways, we were only there for about a day, and me and him got into it, because I just kept finding lies about things. Um, and I told him like I wanted to leave and then I ended up just really I was like, you know what? I came all the way to Jamaica LA is a far plane ride from Jamaica. It's not direct. You have to get on a whole nother flight Um, I had to make a stop in Atlanta, whatever So I was like, I don't want to waste me coming out here Like I could be in LA working and I already like spent a whole day of travel So me and my friend just decided to go get our own hotel at a resort take pictures You know do our own thing and that was it. I was like, let me I'm not gonna let him ruin this for me even though we got into it. Um, that was 
literally that after that we stopped talking and we have not talked since uh we spoke briefly the other day just because i kept getting tagged in that video whatever and yeah we were just on a golf cart it wasn't a part of his music video or anything and like his cameraman that was there was just we were all laughing having fun we're riding a golf cart in jamaica he's like recording a little clip and it was just the clip he decided to use i wasn't aware he was gonna post it um or anything and yeah honestly forgot that it was even that we even recorded that it was like 10 seconds so yeah that was really that's really the story um aside from that a lot of you guys think i was in his other video like nasty girl or whatever the ones with all the girls naked doing crazy shit i was not in that video y'all i was long gone when they even filmed that because if i would have been there at the time seeing that go off it would have been a whole another argument so um yeah i was not in that video that was the other girls that were there i don't know why i think i was you can't even see faces really I guess people just assumed because I was in that other clip, but no. I don't really do music videos, especially not things like that. If I ever did a music video again, it would be some creative, cool shit, you know? Something classy and cute. Um, the only video I've done is like the King Combs one called Naughty featuring Jeremiah. And that was a very cute PG video, you know? I was dressed in cute outfits, just, you know, like prancing around. Like it was nothing crazy. So I hope that addresses that and I hope you guys leave it alone now. Yeah, I wasn't really trying to speak on it, but I have a lot of questions about it. I'm being tagged and things every day. So it is what it is. Thought I would just throw that in this Q&A. All right, y'all. So for some reason, my camera stopped recording, but um, I was pretty much done with the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that addressed some of your questions and concerns. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Said you've been bad.